Plug Power's story has always been one of ambition, innovation, and bold strategic bets. But the company's newest transformation may be its most important yet, not just for its future, but for the entire hydrogen development landscape. Today, Plug Power is emerging as something very different from what it set out to be just a few years ago. Instead of trying to build, own, and operate an entire nationwide hydrogen production and distribution ecosystem, the company is repositioning itself as a high-tech backbone for hydrogen developers. This transformation is reshaping how green hydrogen projects are built, financed, and scaled, and it's altering the role that developers play in the industry. The idea of plug power being a one-stop hydrogen empire has shifted. Now it is becoming the enabling technology layer, the brain, the engine, and the toolkit that developers can plug into as they design their own projects. And this shift matters because it signals a turning point in how the hydrogen economy will grow over the next decade. For years, Plug Power tried to become vertically integrated, controlling every link in the hydrogen value chain. It wasn't content with being just a technology company. It wanted to produce hydrogen, liquefy it, store it, transport it, and deliver it to end users through its Gen Key ecosystem. The company acquired hydrogen producers, electrolyzer manufacturers, trucking and logistics assets, and fuel cell technology. It also started building a network of hydrogen plants across the United States, big capital-intensive facilities designed to supply hydrogen for industrial partners and mobility customers. Plug Power's ambition was to own the entire customer experience from molecule to megawatt. But as the industry evolved and the economics of hydrogen shifted, Plug faced a reality that almost every pioneering cleantech company eventually confronts. The market grows faster when each player specializes rather than attempts to dominate the entire chain. It's the same lesson Solar learned in the 2010s. It's the same lesson Wind learned in the late 2000s. And now, Hydrogen is learning it too. For Plug Power, the lesson was clear. Scale comes from serving the industry, not owning all of it. This realization sparked a dramatic pivot. Plug Power began reducing capital expenditures on hydrogen plants, pausing new builds, reallocating major assets, and shifting resources away from owning infrastructure and toward optimizing the manufacturing, performance, and deployment of its high-tech equipment. Instead of anchoring its growth on hydrogen plant ownership, Plug Power is shifting to a model where it provides the technology, electrolyzers, fuel cells, compression systems, liquid hydrogen technology, to the developers who will actually build the next generation of hydrogen projects. In this new identity, Plug Power becomes the backbone, developers become the drivers, and the entire hydrogen value chain becomes more modular, more scalable, and more financially viable. This shift is not only strategic, it is necessary. Building and owning green hydrogen infrastructure is enormously capital intensive. Large electrolyzer plants cost hundreds of millions of dollars. Liquefaction facilities require precision engineering and high energy input. Hydrogen trucking fleets require constant maintenance, rigorous safety protocols, and a steady supply of customers to remain profitable. Plug Power, at its core, is a technology company, not an infrastructure conglomerate. And while it still operates existing hydrogen plants, the strategy is no longer to build a vast nationwide hydrogen empire. Instead, it aims to make hydrogen production technology accessible and modular so developers can build their own empires. This shift aligns plug with the structure of the electric vehicle market, where companies like Tesla create the technology and charging networks, but the majority of infrastructure and power generation is handled by utilities, developers, charging providers, and partners. In the hydrogen world, Plug Power's new identity means developers will no longer be passive customers dependent on OEM-owned hydrogen ecosystems. Instead, they will actively shape the future by designing their own hydrogen systems powered by Plug's technology. This is a significant moment for the market. Hydrogen is no longer waiting for one vertically integrated company to solve every problem. It is becoming a collaborative ecosystem where developers, utilities, EPC firms, financiers, and OEMs each play a specialized role. And Plug Power's shift into a high-tech backbone will accelerate this transition, making it easier to build projects, deploy hydrogen solutions, and reach the cost targets needed for mass adoption.
What does this mean for developers specifically? First, it means more control. Developers will have the ability to source hydrogen technology directly from Plug without relying on Plug's ownership of the entire asset. They can design hydrogen plants tailored to their own markets, industrial processes, mobility, synthetic fuels, microgrids, or data centers. They can create their own financial models, negotiate their own power purchase agreements, craft their own offtake contracts, and raise capital from their own investors. In Plug's former model, developers often had to operate within Plug's ecosystem. In the new model, Plug feeds the ecosystem but does not control it. This gives developers freedom and flexibility to build hydrogen projects that reflect their unique, local, regional, or sector-specific needs. Second, Plug power becoming the backbone means developers will gain access to standardized, scalable, and increasingly affordable electrolyzer and fuel cell technology. When an OEM focuses on modular manufacturing, costs begin to decline more predictably. Technology becomes easier to deploy. Replacement cycles become more clear. Warranties improve. Integration becomes more streamlined. Developers benefit from cost curves that were previously slowed down by OEMs being distracted with operating infrastructure. Now, Plug Power can concentrate its efforts on designing better stacks, improving system performance, and optimizing manufacturing. This directly contributes to lowering the levelized cost of hydrogen, the holy grail metric developers chase. In other words, the more Plug focuses on technology, the faster we reach cost-competitive green hydrogen. Third, Plug Power's backbone strategy creates new market opportunities for developers. With Plug stepping into a more supportive role, developers can pursue projects in emerging areas like hydrogen-powered microgrids, backup power for data centers, hybrid renewable hydrogen systems, electrolyzers integrated with curtailment reduction strategies, green ammonia, and hydrogen blending. Plug's technology becomes the foundation, but developers define the architecture. This shift encourages creativity and invites more entrants into the hydrogen market, including utilities, independent power producers, oil and gas transition companies, logistics companies, EPCs, and energy consultants. No longer is the market bottlenecked by Plug's ability to build infrastructure. Now, anyone with capital, land, interconnection access, and a strong feasibility model can build green hydrogen projects using Plug's technology. Fourth, this new identity reinforces the need for developers to become more financially skilled. Plug Power's asset light transition means developers must take ownership of project financing, risk allocation, permitting, and construction. Hydrogen projects require advanced modeling, especially around electricity cost, capacity factor, electrolyzer efficiency, stack replacement cycles, O&M budgets, and financing structures. Developers need to understand tax credits, grants, debt structures, equity IRR requirements, and hydrogen offtake contract designs. Plug Power's pivot places these responsibilities squarely on developers' shoulders, which means the market now needs more highly trained project developers who understand both the technology and the economics. This is precisely why platforms like ReneeEnergy.com exist, to teach developers how to build, model, and finance green hydrogen projects anywhere in the world. Fifth, Plug Power's shift offers developers better risk management. Vertical integration sounds appealing, but it concentrates risk. If one part of the chain fails, say hydrogen production is down, or trucking is delayed, or fuel cell supply is disrupted, the entire system is affected. By contrast, in a modular development ecosystem, developers can choose suppliers, replace underperforming vendors, diversify risk, and design redundancy into their systems. Plug becoming a backbone supplier means developers can treat electrolyzers and fuel cells like other equipment in project finance. Selectable, replaceable, and competitive. This is good for market resilience. It encourages innovation, it drives competition, and it spreads risk in a healthier way across the industry. Sixth, Plug Power's new role will accelerate global market growth. When OEMs try to own everything, expansion is slow. Capital becomes a bottleneck. Projects stall. But when OEMs provide technology and developers build assets, 
the market expands rapidly. This is how solar scaled, this is how wind scaled, and this is how hydrogen will scale. Plug power stepping into the role of high-tech backbone allows the industry to grow faster than any single OEM's balance sheet could support. Developers, investors, national hydrogen strategies, regional industrial hubs, and corporate decarbonization targets all get to move at their own speed. Plug's technology becomes the common thread that links these efforts together. Finally, Plug Power's new identity unlocks a more collaborative and sustainable future. Hydrogen is not a single-player game. It requires partnerships, co-development, cross-sector coordination, and multi-stakeholder engagement. By becoming a technology partner rather than an infrastructure owner, Plug becomes a catalyst rather than a bottleneck. It allows the hydrogen ecosystem to flourish organically, driven by developers who understand the markets they serve. Plug becomes the backbone, the essential technology layer that powers the new hydrogen world. But the developers are the ones who will build it. As the hydrogen economy enters its next phase, developers equipped with the right tools will lead the transition. If you want to become one of those developers, if you want to learn how to build feasibility studies, model hydrogen economics, structure project finance, secure offtake, negotiate vendor contracts, and design full green hydrogen projects, visit h2hub.reneenergy.com. That's where you'll find the resources, training, templates, and frameworks to build hydrogen projects from scratch, powered by the technology companies like Plug Power, are now focused on delivering. The future belongs to those who can build, not just imagine. Plug Power is building the technology. Developers will build the world around it.